hello y'all it has been so long if you hear something it is estes getting into this drawer down here so i apologize i'm determined to vlog today so i'm gonna give you a life update as well as a mental health update a lot has gone down in the past month and i really just wanted to explain where we've been and what's been going on so if you're interested then just keep watching setup works um because i was going to talk to y'all on the way to the gym about um kind of an update like i said earlier i wanted to update y'all on why i haven't uploaded anything why we have been kind of mia on youtube and it's i mean it's really good i think to take a break in general but there are other things that have been happening that are legit reasons to take a step back and like reevaluate what's important and what needs to happen. So, with that being said, um, so basically it was, or maybe even the first week of January, but I don't know. I just like got in this huge funk and. I was not myself whatsoever. I was very depressed. Hold on, I'm gonna make sure that this doesn't fall really quick. I'm going down my driveway. I wasn't myself. I like, it took everything in me to get off of the couch after like getting up and like, you know, getting the boys fed and whatever. It was just like draining to me. And then I had no motivation to do the laundry, do the dishes really do anything I was just like so down and I was just like I don't know so obviously right then and there that's a red flag and if this shakes and whatever I'm sorry this is just like really the only time that I have like alone time to be able to film a sit down video so anyways so that went on for a few weeks and finally Steven was like what is going on like obviously I wasn't being myself so um, I don't know I just kind of like was not trying to have that conversation because I didn't even know what was going on like I had no idea so then I randomly signed up for a half marathon and it was on February 2nd and I signed up for it a week before it was happening and I literally had not been training for it at all whatsoever it was just like why the heck did I do that like and I'm gonna get into that in a second but um so I signed up for this half marathon no training whatsoever um I was still like in this rut that I had been talking about just kind of like I just felt really numb like I just felt like I don't even know how to describe it I was obviously depressed but I didn't know at the time that I was so running for me is very therapeutic so my in my mind like my thought process it was like okay if I run this half marathon it's gonna make me feel better and it'll make me you know feel like I'm back to normal so I run the half marathon surprisingly I got a PR um, I don't know how that happened because I had not been training yada 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 all that good stuff well it was a very temporary fix like I kid you not it was probably like not even a 12 hour fix like I felt like oh yeah I'm on top of the world I feel like myself again like I'm energetic I can you know conquer the world like I usually feel like I feel pretty like motivated most of the time but that didn't last very long 
So um, I called the next day, I called my counselor and I was like, hey, I need to get in for an appointment, like something's not right, like whatever. And so we met and I kind of explained what was happening and she was just like, you know, why did you sign up for a half marathon without even training for it, you know? Because it's like, you're not gonna like sign up to go do, you know, a race that you haven't even trained for and then risk getting injured, you know? But at that point in time, my thought process, and this is what I told her, I was like, I just needed to feel something. Like I needed to feel anything. Like I didn't care if it was pain, I didn't care if it was happiness or anger. Like I didn't care what it was. I wanted to feel something. I wanted to feel like, okay, I'm an actual human being. I'm here. I'm alive. And eventually, you know, that so I went to that appointment and it was just kind of like, okay, clearly you're depressed or whatever, but there's some other underlying issues. And I was just like thinking, I'm like, what other issues are there? Like, what is it, you know? And so at the next appointment, so I'd like gone to see her like once a week. And then at the next appointment, I finally just like said, I wonder if it has anything to do with this. Like, I honestly didn't think that it did just because this stuff had happened a long time ago. And she was just like, okay, like, yeah, that is concerning, you know, to, you know, whatever. And I literally had never spoken of any of these events to anybody except her. So we ended up talking more and just, you know, getting all of the details out that I felt like were necessary to get out in order to kind of like figure out what was going on mentally. Come to find out, uh, complex PTSD is what I am diagnosed with. So, on top of that, with that whole realization, you know, I have, I really am just scratching the surface on understanding it all, so I'm not trying to act like I know everything that has to do with it, but just the little bit that I've read having to do with it, oh gosh, um, I do relate with it a lot, it makes a lot of sense with what I've, you know, read and everything. So I ended up getting prescribed Zoloft, um, I started Zoloft, I believe it was February 7th, and now I'm on 100 milligrams of it. I started at 50, um, went up to 100. The first, like, couple weeks were kind of just like a, like, trial period. I was taking it in the morning, and I was just, like, so freaking tired all day. So after a few weeks of that and realizing, okay, like, maybe morning isn't the best time for me to be taking it ah I'm sorry you guys I'm sorry but um so then I switched to taking it at night and that is definitely the better option like that's worked way better with me personally um taking it at night and so that's what's been going on I felt like I did not want to be vlogging until I really got a hold of what was happening with me mentally and all that and I didn't want to just like I mean obviously I wouldn't have like picked up the camera and been fake like it would have been very apparent that there's something wrong if I were gonna try to like film during all that stuff but so I ultimately just decided that I was going to take a break um, until I figured out, you know, what was going on. And that was the best decision that I made because I finally feel like I am myself. Like, so I guess I've been on it for like a month now. And I think it probably took about like three and a half weeks for the medicine to really like start working with my chemical whatever I don't even know the terms but for it to start really working and I've seen a drastic change I think for at the first like for the first couple weeks I was kind of like oh man I don't think this is working like what is going on or whatever but I see a big difference now 
and I'm really happy with what's going on. But the goal, the end goal is just for me to be off Zoloft. I don't want to be on medication for the rest of my life. And um, I don't know if anyone is familiar with EMDR therapy. If you aren't, I will um, I will put the um, description on the on this right now for you to read about it. But I will be starting that this coming week and. Our goal is just for me to be off of Zoloft in the next six months, like to be off of that, and then hopefully the EMDR therapy works wonders for my brain, my mental health, and everything so that I can work through things that I have kind of like suppressed my entire life. And so that's kind of an update for y'all. Um, I know that that's kind of a downer a little bit, but actually it, that's, it's kind of like it's a downer, but then at the same time, it was very crucial and important for me and my family that I figure out like what's going on because obviously me laying around on the couch and not being myself, being unrecognizable was not an option whatsoever. Like I want to be better for, you know, my family, my kids and everything. So anyways, um, I'm going to go get a workout in, but I will, um, try to think of some more stuff that I can put into this after I come back and then I'll talk to y'all about it on the way back home but anyways stay tuned Whew, holy moly <sighs> just got done working out um to be quite honest while I was in there I didn't really think of anything to touch on other than what I already told y'all um, but if y'all have any questions regarding CPTSD or PTSD or Zoloft in general, I would be more than happy to do like a more in-depth video on that. As time goes on, I feel like I'm going to learn more and more about it. As of right now, like I'm literally just a month in, so I feel like I'm very new to everything and just trying to like research and learn as much as I can. Um, one thing I will say though is that I joined a um, support group on Facebook that's been really enlightening and so that's been nice to just kind of like <clears throat> because a lot of those people have um, either been dealing with it for a long time or gosh this is so hard I need to get a mount for my car for whenever I'm videoing because I feel like this is not gonna work uh, so if you have any suggestions on a mount for a camera let me know down in the comments but also you know if you just have any questions in general please just feel free to ask me I'm I'll try my best to answer your questions and all that good stuff. So that's where I've been, that's what's been going on in life. With that being said, I think eating healthy, um, exercise, and seeing my counselor, I love her so much, and the Zoloft and hopefully the EMDR therapy that I'll be starting this, this week is all just gonna like come together and work its magic and just kind of bring my headspace back to a healthy place for good. Like not just like a temporary fix, but like a fix that will last. So I don't think I'm ever gonna stop going to counseling, but my goal is to completely be off of medication in the next six months and hopefully the EMDR stuff will also kind of be done around that same time too to where then I'm just going in for like follow-ups with my counselor and um, all that good stuff. So that's the plan right now. Um, I'm really glad that I got to get on camera today and kind of explain everything that's been going on. It's been really tough on Steven and the boys to just I mean it's just tough it's mental health is very important and when you don't know what's going on it's really hard to like it's hard for the person that's you know your significant other to watch you going through something and like when you don't even know and they don't even know it's like they can, they don't know how to help you so it's been really it's been really cool to kind of get down to the bottom of things and 
you know, have Steven there by my side kind of helping me through it all. So, anyways, I'm going home. I'm going to see y'all in a little bit. Um, then I just... That's gonna be a blooper. So. Ah! <laughs> ah, this is fun. Okay, so 